You're over 50 years old now and you've gotten really out of shape. You were in shape back in the day. You know, life gets in the way and over the years, time passed you by and you've gotten really out of shape now and you're having a lot of self-doubt on what you got to do to get yourself back in shape. Because face it, nobody wants to look out of shape. Everyone wants to have that. I'm in good shape. How old are you? You're 50? Wow, you look great. Everybody wants to hear that. And I'm going to tell you how we're going to bring that physique back. A lot of us go through all of the challenges of life. You know, if you've been involved in any kind of athletic sports from high school to college, some people played professional sports. As you get older, all of these injuries start to surface. You get all these aches and pains that you never had before, and every morning you wake up and it's another pain in another location. You know, you need to learn to train around these injuries. You can't go into the gym after you're 50 years old and start training like you did when you were back in your high school and college and in your 20s and 30s. You can't go into the gym and do that because your body is not that teenage 20 and 30 year old body anymore. It's age, and you need to allow yourself to age gracefully with it. So what I'm trying to say is, don't go into the gym with this ego of, I used to do this back in the day. Yeah, we all used to do this back in the day. I mean, I was a competitive bodybuilder. I was a champion bodybuilder back in the day. But I don't train anywhere near the way I did when I was in my younger years. It's impossible because the injury factor has become so high. You can't go into the gym and start lifting this heavy weight without the, without the fear of tearing a muscle, pulling a muscle, blowing your back out. You just can't because those injuries are very hard to come back from. Sometimes you never come back from injuries like that. They end up requiring surgery to fix them. And that's no way to go through life. You're giving yourself a handicap. So when you're back in the gym after the age of 50, you have to learn how to train smarter not harder. You need to learn how to train around the injuries that you have and also learn how to isolate the muscles using lighter weight with higher repetitions. You know, bodybuilding and weight training is all about repetition, building muscle. You guys are not power lifters, you're bodybuilders. You want to build muscle. So in order for you to build that muscle, you have to learn how to fatigue that muscle. And the way you fatigue that muscle is by high repetition when you're doing your exercises. You lighten up the weight and you go for them high reps. And by high reps, I mean not the six to eight, 10 nonsense. I'm talking 15, 20, 25 reps of getting your mind into the muscle group that you're training and squeezing the repetitions and feeling those muscles working. And then you take a brief rest period and you go right back into it again. You do high repetitions or reps to failure that you always hear me talk about or drop set training, starting with the moderate weight, reps to failure, drop the weight about 10 pounds, continue the repetitions to failure, drop the weight again another 10 pounds and do reps to failure. These types of workouts are especially geared for the over 50 crowd because what matters the most in the gym is getting that skin splitting pump. And when you have that skin splitting pump, your muscles have been trained efficiently. One of the biggest changes when you hit over the age of 50 is your metabolism. You know, some people have always had a slow metabolism in their life. It's all about the genetics that you're given when you're born. Some people have, you know, metabolism that's on fire. They're able to eat everything they want and not gain a pound or never get fat. But what happens when you're 50 years old, and it's not everybody, but it's the majority. The metabolism starts to slow down. It doesn't have that fire it used to have where you could eat what you want and not worry about gaining weight. Now, I look at a cheeseburger and I gain 10 pounds if it's got the bread on it. My metabolism is nowhere near what it was back in the day. So I've had to learn to adjust my eating habits. I now follow more of a keto slash carnivore diet and my complex carbohydrate intake is extremely, extremely low because my body stores complex carbs. I get fat off of them. Not that I can't have that dirty cheat meal once in a while. Of course you can. But 99% of my meals are the keto slash carnivore part of the part of the equation. It's what works for me. And you got to find out what's going to work for you. You know your metabolism. You know what foods are going to make you fat. And you need to learn to adjust that. And a lot of times when we're over the age of 50, especially the men, you suffer a lot of muscle loss. Well, the muscle loss comes from drops in testosterone level, 
and the changes in your diet. Over the age of 50, you need to increase your protein intake because protein is what builds muscle. And you need to start supplementing testosterone builders. Whether you go to a doctor to get hormone replacement therapy, or you start taking the natural supplements like D3 and DHEA and other testosterone builders to help you build your natural testosterone level. Because as we get older, our testosterone level drops severely, which is one of the main reasons why metabolism slow down. You also have to learn how to train around your injuries. You know, you might have been a hell of a bench presser back in the day, but you can't do those bench presses anymore because why? Your shoulders are hurting, your rotator cuff hurts. You gotta work around those injuries. You gotta find exercises that are gonna allow you to train the muscle group. So instead of doing a bench press with barbells or dumbbells, go to the cable machine. Do standing cable bench presses where you have more articulation with the cables to work around the injuries that are nagging you now. Because I have those injuries, I cannot bench press anymore. So I do a lot of standing cable presses or I do a lot of incline benching on machines. I've resorted to a lot of machine training for my basic compound movements on certain body parts because of injuries that I've had over the years. And as you get older, you really have to be careful with your training that you don't A, aggravate these injuries. And it happened to me, I did a dumbbell uh, incline bench press a couple of months ago, and they were just 35 pound dumbbells. I might have done 20, 25 repetitions. It felt great. But the next day I felt it in my shoulder and I'm like, oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. That nagging, aching, dull pain stayed with me for eight weeks. Eight weeks and I only did one set of that high rep light weight. And I suffered for eight weeks with that, that stabbing pain in my shoulder. I know what it was. It was the tendon. It was the tendon that runs through the shoulder. Something so simple. But I hadn't done dumbbell incline benches in a long time. And what do you hear me saying in some of my other videos? Barbells and dumbbells are a balancing act. So by me doing the dumbbells, my stabilizer muscles or my tendons weren't conditioned enough to handle even that light weight. It aggravated it. And because of our age, those nagging injuries stay with us for a long time. So you have to learn how to train around these injuries and avoid the exercises. And I'll never do another dumbbell incline bench, not for a long, long time, because I know the consequences that I'm going to suffer. It's not worth it. You got to learn how to train smarter, not harder. Don't let age be a barrier in between you and you achieving your fitness goals. What you have to do is learn to train smarter and the most important thing is consistency in your workout. You need to train, in my opinion, one body part a day, isolate the muscles, and get a really good workout. Pick your three favorite exercises. Do about three sets for those exercises, and do high repetitions, drop sets, whatever it is. You can superset the exercises, it doesn't matter. But what matters is consistency. Go to the gym every day. I do one body part a day with my training partner. We target three, maybe four exercises, three sets per exercise. And that's it. That's plenty for you to get a really good workout in. More is not better. You got to train the muscles so they're fatigued, so you get that really, really good pump. Train how you feel. And one of the biggest misconceptions at our age is, and it happens to me, I'm not any different than you guys. Believe me, I'm fucking human. Um, you see all these young influences all over social media looking all jacked up and all shredded. Well, let me tell you something. 90% of the shit that you're seeing on social media is bullshit. A lot of those kids, and I call them kids because they're a hell of a lot younger than I am, they're all jacked up on drugs. The majority don't even compete. They just want that social media influence. And they don't even know what the hell they're talking about. You know, it's look at me, look at me. Well, my, co my content in my videos isn't look at me. You've never seen me train with my shirt off. I'm very modest, I'm very humble. It's about educating you. And I go through the same things in life that every 50 year old goes through. Learn how to train smarter, not harder. Avoid these social media influence idiots. They're just a bunch of fucking jackasses in my opinion. Train the way you feel, but train consistently. Don't ego train. Don't train with weight that's too heavy for you. And never let your age be a barrier between you 
and you meeting your fitness goal. It can happen. If you need help with this, I have online coaching where I'm one-on-one -on -one with you for an entire year. All of my training, believe it or not, and my coaching is geared to the over 50 crowd because, hey, yeah, I was a champion bodybuilder back in the day, but those young kids, they don't want to listen to me because what's that old guy know? Well, this old guy was trained by one of the best coaches back in the day, okay? This old guy here knows a lot. And I put all that knowledge into training videos that go into great detail, and they are targeted to the over 50 crowd. So it's really, it's really a good idea if you don't want to get me one-on-one -on -one for a year, grab my training course videos where I go in such great detail on training, the different levels of training, exercises you should be doing and exercises you shouldn't be doing, diet stuff. I go through it all, all the body parts, reversing type 2 diabetes, the keto diet. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to offer a 10-minute Zoom call to anybody that puts their email in that free PDF link I have in the description. We're going to send you a, a fitness journey starter um, paperwork to show you how to get your journey started. And you're also going to get a 10-minute free Zoom call with me so I can help you get started and help you progress your journey. So how's that sound? 10 minutes with me on a Zoom call for free. So until next time, I'll see you guys back in the gym. Thank you for watching. Peace out.